What's up, you guys? Hey, everyone. Hey. So, um, what are we talking about today, baby? We're talking about marriage and if it does take work. Before you get married, sometimes you'll hear someone saying like, oh, marriage takes work and all that. I remember hearing that from a friend or something. Oh, am I looking at the wrong place? You're supposed to be over here, right? I thought I was looking there. I was just making, uh, it wasn't supposed to be like a thing where it starts a video. It was just like a friendly reminder. Gotcha. Do you want to start this one over? No, let's just okay. keep it raw. <laughs> okay. This is the raw us. Okay. Of <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it really does. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> It, oh, oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> you cute kid, man. <laughs> um, but it does because you have two people from two different backgrounds with different points of view on things coming together trying to make things work. Um, but is it worth it? It is worth it. So uh, I think that's something important for people to have in mind. You can't expect a successful marriage to ride on emotions and love alone you have to put in the work have the conversations um have the patience and the ability to understand that you are two very different people to coming together and put in the work to make your marriage successful and happy so yeah and um i guess just to add to that it's something that takes intention intentionality as well um like for instance, in my love language is words of affirmation. Um, then, like that's how I receive love. But I might, not be, but not, but that might not be how my spouse receives love. And so, if I just simply get up every day and tell her I love you, you know, which is nice and awesome to say. But if she's more of a quality time or whatnot, then me just simply telling her that isn't how she receives love. So she might hear that every day, but she might not feel that if I never spend time with her or whatnot. Um, so I guess just a quick story. I know a guy um, who who um, he's a very hard worker. He works seven days a week, sun up, no sun and no sun, um, and he was doing that for years in his marriage. And, and essentially, he worked really hard. He was able to help him and his wife pay off all their debts. She went to she had like a master's degree, and he worked hard to pay all that off. And at the end of the day, she left him, um, not because he wasn't a hard worker but because he spent all his time at the job and he didn't give any attention to her, is what I believe and what I took from the story. And so while it is good to be a hard worker, to put in time to try to grow and advance and everything, you gotta make sure that you're putting time in your spouse and for your spouse as well, so that you can ultimately grow and have a healthy relationship as well. And we're, say, we're using the term work, but it doesn't always have to feel like that. Right now we're hanging out, we're gonna go to this water park because she loves water parks. Um, so I'm not like digging a hole or in the garden. I'm not getting in the water then, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not like <laughs> doing garden work because, oh, I'm gonna show my spouse I love her. <laughs> you know, you can have fun together, do different things that y'all both enjoy, or you know, maybe someone will give or take or more, where more, one party might enjoy it more or whatnot, but ultimately you're just being intentional about loving your partner and the way they love, to, and the way they receive love. And if you do that, you have something beautiful. So I just want to encourage you guys, for those who are striving to ultimately continue to grow and um, build an amazing relationship, you guys got this. Keep just figuring each other out, figuring out what you guys love, what y'all have in common, and just keep being intentional about making something beautiful together. Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all can do this. Yeah. Keep working at it. Keep loving each other. And this is Maddie J signing off. We're about to just go to this festival night and enjoy ourselves. So signing off. Oh yeah, and real quick, if you have any questions or any suggestions or topics that you want to hear, feel free to drop it in the in the chat. Um, we're always trying to come up with the, um, different topics to talk about. Mm -hmm. And it would be awesome to hear from you guys what you guys' experiences are, maybe some things that helped you out or some questions you guys have, just so we can ultimately help you as we all grow in this thing, in this journey together. Yes, yes, absolutely. Put in the comments below anything that's on your mind or any response to um, to this. So, all right. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>